All right, I am gonna shoot a video as I'm driving to this property, and then I'll shoot another one once we get inside. Right now, we're in um, New Tampa. That's where we're at the moment. We're driving by some schools and stuff. This road is called Cross Creek. There's another road called Bruce B. Downs. It's a, it's a, uh, a busier, more commercial road. It has a lot of restaurants and, and stores and stuff like that. So I actually just passed it. I was on the phone with somebody or else I would have started recording there. But this is still a good spot for me to show you. I'm still on Cross Creek. This is a this road right here will get you to four, half of the um, subdivisions in this community or New Tampa area are on this road. The other half are on the other one. So we just passed Hunter's Green. Here's Arbor Green. This is where this one is. Up ahead is Cory Lake. Off to on the other side of the road is Heritage Isles. Um, but this is what I want to give you a taste of. This is uh, Arbor Green. So as you come into Arbor Green, like I said, this is a golf community. This has tennis courts. This has um, pool, community pool. Quite a few amenities that you have when you live here. And once we get past this manned gate, then we'll have to do a uh, actual gate to get inside the community. All right, let's see here if I can do this and film at the same time. Hey there. I am a realtor here to show uh, a townhome in Arbor Run. Sure, sure. It's unit 143. Sure. And this is also my business card. Yeah. Here you go, boss. Thank you. You need your business card back? Or? It's up to you. Changes color with temperature. It's like a mood ring. <laughs> you too, man. All right, and we're through. So that right there is your security hard at work. So this is the one, there's two main roads in the subdivision. You see how that's gated? Two main roads here in the subdivision um, and it takes you to a bunch of uh, neighborhoods, I guess you'd say. They're all part of Hunter's Green, but like, like, like if you take a right, that's a, a neighborhood down there. It's a pretty good sized community. Couldn't tell you how many homes there are, maybe a couple hundred, I don't know. Right here it says community center. So this is where you have your pool and, and uh, some of your amenities. And you know what? I actually missed the uh, Arbor Run. Uh, <laughs> just wondering why I'm filming. The Arbor Run uh, subdivision. So this gives you a little perspective anyway. You can see all these different gates and sections of the of the community. Okay. So we're going to go back to where we get to Arbor Run. Homes in this in this uh, community are anywhere from mid twos up to a million dollars. Most of them being between mid twos and mid fours, maybe in the fives. Okay. Usually I have my GPS on. I'm totally doing this by memory, so it's kind of why I'm, I'm missing some spots here. But I think I, I think I, I'm all set now. So you can see here is uh, a community uh, tennis courts. Like I said, this is all inside a, a gated area, so it's pretty safe. You see, they're doing activities. Some places are gated like this, and, and some are not. And you can see there's sidewalks, walking trails, uh, benches. Now, Arbor Run is going to be um, just up up here on the right. 
a little public gazebo. This is Arbor Run right here. These are townhomes. I'm gonna go by and then just do a little circle, but that is your entrance in to Arbor Run. Just wanna show you kind of what's a little bit beyond. It just kind of ends up here and, and we'll just do a U-turn, uh, uh, go around a roundabout. So these neighborhoods right here are not gated. Like I said, I don't know the rhyme or reason why some are and some aren't, but if I lived in this community, I would have no concerns if it was gated or not. All right, so up here on the left here is the Arbor Run townhomes. And we're gonna see if we can find unit 143 the GPS usually when I come here this is closed I don't know if it's open during the day and I just happen to come at weekends and stuff now you can see right here like it says do not enter that's the back end the back side of some of these homes where their garages are um, so that's the back side but then you can see the front side of the home is also uh, road so you do have somewhat limited parking. You see some common area, but you really have, you know, road on both sides. That's just the way they, they lay them out. So we're looking for unit 143. Here's right here, a little sign. You can see the monthly dues, 304. And they have meetings. If you live here, you can attend the meetings. So we're looking for unit 143. It looks like we just got lucky. Here's 139, 141. I think it would be right here, 143. Oh, there's 143. Yeah, it's blurry. But anyway, it's right there. All right, let me park right here. I have a car behind me, so I'm trying to get out of his way. I'm gonna do some parallel parking. I do that once in a blue moon. They have another little picnic bench area. Oh, I didn't do too bad. So here's your front entrance. I'm gonna do a video once I get inside. I actually have to use my phone to find out the code. So I'll, I'll end this video and then I'll do a video inside. You're going all the way up to the ceiling. You can see the three floors. You're going all the way to the back. So you can see, here's the front. Your downstairs bedroom is this window right here, or these two windows. And I'll show you the back, where you would pull in and out of the garage. So there's your two car garage and your AC system. These units are not very old, so I'm sure it's original. I don't have the sheet in front of me to see it's a 2000 something year build. So this is the one way road, you can see by the arrow. And uh, if it pulls out and goes that way and loops around, So there's your second story, and then there's master, and, and of course this is split. So this is the other unit. There's two uh, two two homes occupy this entire building. Now 
Now, they're responsible for the exterior. It's not uncommon to have some cracks. You know, they painted it. Not quite as perfect as you know, you'd like, but that's all on the HOA to keep the exterior going. You just do the, and they do the roof. You just do the interior. Has gutters, you can see. It's quiet enough community. Those uh, windows right there, that's in the, uh, the hallway. So it has stairs and it has uh, elevator. Okay. All right, well, I will shoot a video here of the uh, inside in just a second.